Hey there, Smarty fans, especially parents and educators. We've got something special for you, and it's not just another exciting episode of Who Smarted. It's a chance for you to help shape the future of our show. We're on a mission to make Who Smarted even better for both our brilliant young listeners and their amazing parents and educators. That's why we're inviting you to participate in our exclusive first ever Who Smarted survey to let us know what's working and where we can improve. So, parents and educators, grab a cup of your favorite beverage, cozy up, and take a few minutes to fill out our survey. Head over to whosmarted.com and click survey. Together, let's make Who Smarted the best it can be. Thanks for being an awesome part of our smarting community. And remember, the survey is at whosmarted.com. Just click survey. Hey there, smarty pants. Welcome to an encore or repeat presentation of basketball. Don't worry, we're still making tons of new episodes of Who Smarted. But every now and then we like to share an older episode that we know you'll love. So enjoy hearing how a basket of peaches helped inspire the game of basketball. Hey, Tommy, want to go outside and throw the ball around? Sure, anything beats sitting around doing nothing. Whoa. Close the door, close the door. I can't, there's too much wind and snow. <sighs> Holy cow, it's freezing out there. Guess we can't go outside today. Uh, I'm so bored. What are we going to do? Hey, I know. Let's go ask Coach. Hey, fellas. Yo, Coach, it's a blizzard out. Got any games we can play indoors? Looking for some indoor games, huh? How about a nice game of freeze tag? You're it. What is this, kindergarten? What else you got? How about Duck Duck Goose? How about No No Next? Hey, we can make a human pyramid. Yeah, I don't think so. Hey, hey, hey I got an idea. Hey, Avi, where'd you get that peach? <laughs> There's a whole basket of them. Want me to get you a peach, coach? No, I don't want a peach. I want the basket. In fact, I need two of them. Bring me two peach baskets. Quick, come on. Two baskets of peaches coming right up. No, 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 no peaches, just the baskets. I need them empty. Um, I don't think I can eat that many. Just dump them out, will you? If you say so. What do you want to do with the baskets? You two, get a ladder, a hammer, and some nails. I want you to nail a peach basket to the railing on either end of the gym, all right? Uh, sure, coach, but what are we gonna... I'll explain. Just hang the baskets 10 feet off the ground. Thumb. Ah, dang it. Done. Nice, nice, good, good. Now throw me a soccer ball. Yo, heads up, coach. So what's your idea, coach? Let me gather the whole class together and I'll tell you. All right, circle up because I got a new game for you to try. Oh, yeah, yeah finally. You're so bored. First, you're going to divide you into two teams. You guys go over there, you guys go over there, okay? One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. Four. You see them two peach baskets on the opposite ends of the gym? The object is to throw the soccer ball into the other team's basket. For every basket you score, yeah, you get a point, okay? You got it? And the other team, it's your job. You got to stop them, get the ball back, and score your own basket. All right? You guys got it? Yeah, sounds fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah, it's good with me. Who doesn't like games? We'll start with me, I'll throw the ball up in the air, and we'll start the game, okay? Ready, go! That's it, pass, now pass it again. Hey, pass, pass, right, that's it, pass, pass it again, shoot! Oh no, oh no, yo, boys, yo, yo, stop punching, stop kicking, what are you doing? Oh god, everybody calm down, oh jeez, oh, all right, all right, that's enough, that's enough. I think we need a few more rules. Anybody want a peach? Listen up, kids. This may sound like a ridiculous made-up game, but it's not. In fact, some of you might be on to us. But this crazy peach basket game eventually evolved into what we now call basketball. It may not have happened exactly like this, but let's look at the facts. Fact. Coach James Naismith invented a basket game in Springfield, Massachusetts. Here we go. Fact. He invented said game to entertain his bored students during a blizzard. Fact. The students were bored because this was back in 1891, way before video games and cell phones. He came up with the idea to hang two peach baskets 10 feet off the ground, and the rest is swishery. Get it? Swish? But how did we go from a peach basket to a net? And why are basketballs orange? Yeah. Listen up. 
because we're talking hoops, swoops, and alley oops on Who Smarted? Who Smarted? Who Smart? Is it you? Is it me? Is it science or history? Listen up, everyone. We make smarting lots of fun on Who Smarted? Today, basketball is one of the world's most popular sports. They say one in every ten people around the world plays b-ball. But that first game in 1891 proved to Coach Nesmith that he needed to make some changes before someone got killed. Okay, boys, we're gonna try this again, okay? But this time, I got 13 rules to follow. All right, here they are. Read them, learn them, obey them. Rule one: No running with the ball. You gotta throw it from the spot on which you catch it. That's right. There's no holding, no pushing, no tripping, no tackling, no punching, no grabbing. Same football or boxing. All right, you got it. Yes, coach. All right, let's give this another shot, shall we? That's it. Pass it up the court. Pass again. Now shoot. Hey, well done. Now that's what I call basketball. Coach Nesmith's 13 original rules for basketball made the game better and cut down on players getting hurt. But in those early years, there were still plenty of injuries. One reason: the rules state if the ball goes out of bounds, whoever touches it first gets the ball. Players would do whatever it took to get to the ball first, and that includes tossing a teammate into the balcony. But what about all the other rules and changes that made the game what you see on TV today? We'll get to all of that fun stuff right after this quick word from our sponsor. Hey there, Smarty fans. Especially parents and educators, we've got something special for you, and it's not just another exciting episode of Who Smarted. It's a chance for you to help shape the future of our show. We're on a mission to make Who Smarted even better for both our brilliant young listeners and their amazing parents and educators. That's why we're inviting you to participate in our exclusive first ever Who Smarted survey to let us know what's working and where we can improve. So, parents and educators, grab a cup of your favorite beverage, cozy up, and take a few minutes to fill out our survey. Head over to whosmarted.com and click survey. Together, let's make Who Smarted the best it can be. Thanks for being an awesome part of our smarting community. And remember, the survey is at whosmarted.com. Just click survey. Basketball has come a long way from that crazy first game in a college gym to the pros playing in the NBA. So how did they solve all their problems? Well, I could just tell you, or we could do it as a game show. Best of all, you get to play along. Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Solve That Problem, the game show where we ask you to find the solution to a problem. I'm your host, S. Marty Pants. Today's topic: basketball. Let's meet our contestants. Bob's a carpet salesman from Waukesha, Wisconsin, who likes cold soup and hot summer nights. Welcome to the show, Bob. Glad to be here. Bob, you'll be playing Cheryl, a librarian from Gary, Indiana. She enjoys croquet and crochet. Welcome to solve that problem, Cheryl. Thanks. I love solving problems. Who doesn't? And viewers listening at home, feel free to play along. Okay, it's time to play solve that problem. First question. In the early days of basketball, players got hurt scrambling to touch the ball first when it went out of bounds. How would you keep the ball from going out of bounds? Bob, you rang in first. How would you solve that problem? Did I take the ball away? Ooh, sorry, Bob. That's incorrect. Cheryl, how would you solve that problem? I'd put a giant metal cage around the court. That's correct, Cheryl. To keep the ball from going out of bounds, they used to hang a giant metal cage around the basketball court. That's why you might hear basketball players referred to as cagers. Way to solve that problem, Cheryl. Next question: When basketball was first invented, every time a player scored, they had to stop the game so someone could climb a ladder and retrieve the ball from the peach basket. How did they solve that problem? Ooh, think hard. They cut out the bottom of the peach basket. Ooh, close, Cheryl, but not quite. Bob. Uh, they drilled a small hole in the bottom and poked the ball out with a stick. Yes, hard to believe, but the first solution they came up with was to drill a hole in the bottom of the peach basket and poke the ball out with a long pole. <laughs> It took years before they thought of removing the bottom of the basket, and even longer before they replaced the basket entirely with a metal hoop and nylon net. We're all tied up. Next question. 
Early on, basketball fans sitting in the balcony could lean over the basket and interfere with the ball, giving their team an unfair advantage. Bob and Cheryl, how did they solve that problem? They put something behind the basket to block the fans. Yes, they installed backboards behind the basket. Well done, Cheryl. You're in the lead. Let's see if Bob can battle back with this next one. The first basketballs were brown and fans had trouble keeping track of them on the wooden court. One coach wanted to make it easier to see the ball. How did he solve that problem? They painted the ball bright pink with polka dots. Sorry, Bob, that's ridiculous. Cheryl? They gave the ball black and white zebra stripes. Sorry, Cheryl, that's also ridiculous. The correct answer is they made the basketballs orange. In 1957, the Spalding Company began manufacturing orange basketballs so fans could see the brightly colored ball better. All right, time for our final question. Under the original rules, basketball games could end in a tie. So boring. For the win, how did they solve that problem? They introduced overtime? Sorry, Bob, that wasn't the first solution they came up with. Ooh, 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 they went to sudden death. That is the correct answer. The first tiebreaker was sudden death, which means whichever team scored first won the game. It wasn't until the 1960s they decided to give each team an equal chance at winning by replacing sudden death with an overtime period. Speaking of winners, congratulations, Cheryl. Irv, tell her what she's won. For solving the most problems, you'll take home a pair of vintage game-worn Converse All-Star basketball shoes. Invented in 1917, Converse All-Stars were the first rubber-soled shoes designed specifically for playing basketball. Enjoy your vintage shoes, Cheryl! Wait, I won used shoes? That's the big prize? Used stinky shoes? I think we have a problem. Great, because this is Solve That Problem. See you next time. Hey, but those weren't the only big changes. Things like dribbling, the shot clock, the free throw, and the three-point line all helped evolve basketball to the game we know and love today. Speaking of, why don't basketball players go on vacation? Because they aren't allowed to travel. Hey. They can't all be slam dunks. A big shout out to Jace and Owen. Jace, we heard it was your birthday in June, so happy belated. And we also want to wish Jack in Columbus, Ohio, a happy July birthday. We hear you're a big fan of Who Smarted. Well, we're big fans of all three of you. So thanks so much for listening. This episode, Basketball, was written by Rebecca Ratliff Cameron and voiced by Jason Williams, Adam Tex Davis, Dan Bromfield, Rebecca Ratliff Cameron, Chuck Cameron, Nate Cameron, Colin Cameron, and yours truly, Jerry Kolber. Technical direction and sound design by Josh Hahn. Who Smarted was recorded and mixed at the Relic Room Studio. Theme song by Brian Suarez. Lyrics written and performed by Adam Tex Davis. Who Smarted was created and produced by Adam Tex Davis and Jerry Kolber. This has been an Atomic Entertainment production. Hey there, Smarty fans, especially parents and educators. We've got something special for you. And it's not just another exciting episode of Who Smarted. It's a chance for you to help shape the future of our show. We're on a mission to make Who Smarted even better for both our brilliant young listeners and their amazing parents and educators. That's why we're inviting you to participate in our exclusive first ever Who Smarted survey to let us know what's working and where we can improve. So parents and educators, grab a cup of your favorite beverage, cozy up, and take a few minutes to fill out our survey. Head over to whosmarted.com and click survey. Together, let's make Who Smarted the best it can be. Thanks for being an awesome part of our smarting community. And remember, the survey is at whosmarted.com. Just click survey.